Um, Army Major General William en Enyard is with us right now for his analysis. And I was just saying to Kelly, and you could add to this, General, that you could see how quickly things can escalate. Tit for tat, one side attacks, the other side retaliates. Where is all of this going in terms of whether the war is in the region is getting even wider than it already has been? Well, Colin, the, uh, certainly the uh, Iranian uh, drone attacks uh, and the Iranian militia uh, drone attacks uh, both on the U.S. Uh, as well as Israel and, and on internationally owned merchant ships, uh, demonstrate Iran's resolve to uh, provoke a massive U.S. retaliatory response, uh, which would complicate U.S. relations with uh, Muslim nations. Uh, and I think these ongoing attacks uh, further Russian interests as well by distracting U.S. attention from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, and also, it, it supports Iranian desires to become the dominant power in the Middle East. Hmm. Uh, if uh, Iran can successfully align with the uh, predominantly Sunni Arab nations uh, against uh, Israel and the U.S., uh, and, and we have to point out that uh, Iran is a different uh, Muslim sect. Iran is, is largely Shia, uh, and uh, the Shia and the Sunnis have long been rivals. Uh, Iran and, and the Arab states have long been rivals, and in fact, Iran fought a decades-long war with Iraq uh, in the latter part of the 20th century. So uh, now, in spite of that conflict, uh, Iraq is now protesting the U.S. strikes uh, on the Iranian-linked militia bases, which happen to be in Iraqi territory. So even though some of this might seem like it's haphazard, as I say, there's one attack and a few people are injured here, there's another attack and more people are killed or injured there, you're saying there's something wider and even more sinister at play here on the part of the Iranians. You think they're kind of trying to drive a wedge, it sounds like, between us and, and other countries? Is that, is, is that pretty much what's going on here, you think? Or? Absolutely, Colin. The, they're using the... Uh, uh, massive uh, Israeli response to the uh, Hamas uh, terror attacks of October 7th uh, to uh, drive a wedge between the U.S. and, it, and the relatively friendly Arab states uh, in that region. Uh, you know, there's been a real warming of relations uh, between uh, Egypt and Saudi and some of the other nations uh, and Israel over the last few years. Right. That is very much to uh, Iran's displeasure. Iran uses uh, Israel as a foil. Uh, you know, the Iranian economy is collapsing and, and is really under severe restraints because of, of the sanctions that we've placed on them. Uh, and so uh, Iran needs, uh, needs conflict with Israel in order to uh, pacify it, its own folks. How do, China, uh, now, I, uh, how do China and Russia, though, play, play into all of this in the near well, term? Uh, Russia very much is involved. You know, the Russians are buying drones and missiles from uh, Iran, and uh, Iran and, and Russia have developed a very close relationship, uh, both uh, economically and, and essentially militarily here. Uh, so by uh, Iran uh, fomenting all of these problems in the Middle East, it distracts U.S. Uh, attention. Uh, China is less directly involved uh, with Iran. However, with U.S. attention redirected from the uh, Western Pacific, uh, the region around Taiwan and the Philippines, uh, redirected into uh, the Middle East, uh, that clearly benefits uh, the Chinese and potentially gives them a freer hand to operate uh, in that uh, Taiwan uh, Straits and, and uh, uh, in those atolls that they have been uh, building and, and seizing uh, and attempting to seize from the Philippines. Yep. You see how complicated all of this is and then, you know, how on the edge we appear to be. Even the Israelis were saying as much when they joined us last hour in terms of this getting even wider uh, than it already is. Uh, General Enyart, we thank you for your time uh, live on this today. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.